Mm-hmm. Ime, Ime, Ime. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is your boy, the Notorious Friend, and I say what I feel, and y'all feel what I say. Now, in today's video, we're going to be diving into a story that comes straight out of the NBA, and it's a wild one, so buckle in. Ime Udoka. And for the sake of this video, we're going to be calling him Ime Ustroka. Ime Ustroka is a basketball coach for the Boston Celtics. Yeah, you know the Boston Celtics. They're just in the NBA Finals against Steph Curry and them. Almost pulled it off. A lot of people say he did a great job for his rookie year. Now, Coach Ustroka was on a pretty decent trajectory through the NBA. As he started out uh, playing overseas, and then uh, I think he went to college at Oregon, uh, and then... Eventually, he landed um, in the NBA, and he played for a few teams, uh, the Knicks, the Trailblazers, the Kings, and the Spurs. And uh, after his career, he would go on to be a coach under the great one of the greatest coaches of all fucking time, Greg Popovich of the San Antonio Spurs. So he learned a lot about X's and O's. He learned a lot about back doors. He learned a lot about sinking it from the corner. Ooh. Long shots. He learned a lot about that. And this nigga's Nigerian. And he's six foot fucking six. Okay? Now, remember I said that. Because all of this shit is going to come back into play later on in the goddamn video. Now, if you don't know, Ime Ustroka is married to one of the childhood fantasies of most young black men that were my age when we grew up from the movie Friday. Nia Long. She's been in all types of fucking black movies, and we fucking love her. We worship the fucking ground this woman's walks on. Motherfucking most guys I know would lick her ass after a fucking long jog. You stroke her, he marries Nia Long, he knocks her up, he does what everybody would do. He, he does the right thing. We're patting him on the back, we say, oh yeah, man, go, you go, man, we're rooting for him. We're like, oh, bang, then he gets the job for the Celtics, we really rooting for him. We're like, okay, man, do your thing, do your thing. They go to the finals, they almost pull it off. Me, personally, I was rooting for Golden State in the series, but that's neither here nor there. Apparently, what nobody knew is that good old ball coach, you stroke her, has a dark side. And, and what I mean by dark side, I don't mean like a serial killer like Ted Bundy or Jeffrey Dahmer or anything like that. No, he just likes the bitches. You know, he likes to have his lady at home and he likes to peruse the motherfucking streets. In this case, peruse the work area and get some strange cat. Now, I'm old enough to know and old enough to remember that this type of shit went on all the time. This shit ran rampant in professional sports, college sports, hell, even high school sports. As I was growing up, it ran rampant that way. It, it was all over the place. Nobody really batted an eye. But you have to fast forward 20-something years now, and you have the Me Too movement. You have a lot of people, lawsuits coming out. People just want the easy way out. And it's always the easiest way out to say, you know what, somebody took advantage of me. I'm suing somebody. And when that motherfucking first domino drops, all the rest of them come tumbling down. Now, in this particular case, Coach Ustroka was slinging his Nigerian nectar, not to just any old random concession stand chick or a masseuse. No, no, he had to aim high. He said, no, if I'm going to do this shit, I got to really fucking do this shit. I gotta, if I'm going to do this, I got to really stick it to the man. See, and he's from Africa. So it, it's all starting to make sense. He had to stick it to the man. So he doesn't go for the low-hanging fruit. He says, no, 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 no. There's levels to this shit. So what does he do? He goes and fucks the vice president of finances for the Celtics, Patrick Lynch. He fucks his wife, who Patrick Lynch shares two kids with her. Yeah, this hoe. Yeah, this scumbag hoe right here. And I'm explaining why she's a scumbag. Yeah, Kathleen Nemo Lynch. Yeah, this scumball here. Yeah, he goes and he starts having an affair with her. The problem is with this whole thing is you have to see this guy, Patrick Lynch, every fucking day. So this means you're fucking drawing up plays in his bedroom. X's and O's, telling her to do backdoor cuts, you know, reverse pivots, drain motherfucking corner shots, back shots, side shots, layups, dunks, rim shots, all in her ass, and then you're going to work the next day, and you're dapping her husband up in the fucking hallway. Now, I want to double back real quick, because when the suspension first came out, they was like, oh... E e you Stroker is being suspended by the Boston Celtics, not the NBA, for uh, conduct detrimental or something like conduct thing. I'm like, oh, what the fuck did he do? So then we find out, okay, they wasn't naming the lady yet. They said, okay, we found out that, oh, he had a consensual relationship with a female staff member. And I was scratching my head. I was like, oh, wait, 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 wait. Doesn't quite work like that. You don't just get suspended for a whole year for having a consensual relationship with a staff member. It had to be more to the story. And then we find out that, hell, it is more to the goddamn story. So listen here. This is how it goes. Ime Ustroka, good old coach Ustroka, 
He's dicking down Patrick Lynch's freak of a wife. A wife who never deserved to be wiped in the fucking beginning. And we're going to get to that later too. Right? So he's dicking her down. The relationship runs its course because somebody told. One of the players, they said, one of the starting five players from the NBA Celtics. Those rat bastards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hear me? You hear me? Jason Tatum, whoever did it, you rat bastards. You don't tell on your fucking coach. Okay? God damn it. Right? So they tell. And now it gets when the wind gets back to the uh up the 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 wind gets back to the top brass of the Boston Celtics. So what's going on? And they're saying, hey man, Coach Udoka's donkey fucking homeboy Patrick's wife. So what do they do? They open an investigation in them damn selves, right? So somehow Patrick Lynch, he gets wind of it and he starts to snoop around. What does he do? He's listening to his old trusty door, uh, uh, his ring doorbell camera one day, and he listens to the goddamn audio on the goddamn ring door camera, and he hears his motherfucking wife, good old Nemo freak old Lynch, talking about how she was sucking and gobbling on motherfucking Coach U Stroker's penis. He's furious, right? He doesn't know who the guy is at the time. He hires a press, a private investigator. Private investigator gets on the case. Follows her around a little bit, does what private investigators do. They're damn good at their job. You get a private investigator on your ass. That's the worst thing in the motherfucking world you want. They're worse than child support. I'm telling you. Okay. So the detective confirms to him, yo, listen, she's having an affair. Boom, boom, boom. But I don't think you want to know who the guy is. He has no idea that it's Coach Ustroka. So he says, no, I want to know. So the private detective tells him, yes, it's Coach Ustroka. The coach you see every day. The coach you take pictures with. Be at fucking team functions and dinners around your wife with. He's the guy that's piping down. And he's six foot six. And he's a fucking African. You know his dick is bigger than your forearm. Okay? And he probably knew his wife's pussy was feeling different lately. He had to know. Come on. So now, when the team approaches her, good old Kathleen, about the affair, she spills the beans. She lets it all go. And she she comes clean to the team. This was after, this was actually around as soon as the finals end. This is when everything broke. So she spills the beans to the team. She said, yeah, we had an affair, but I wanted to stop the affair, but he keeps harassing me. He keeps showing up places. He keeps hitting my phone. He keeps doing all this. He keeps... It, he coach you stroke, it was being a motherfucking simp. He was being a simp. Now, this makes me question a lot of shit. It makes me question, Nia, Nia, does Nia Long not have good pussy? It's making me question. Come on, man. It's making little Annie, you got little Annie over here, just just come take your man and just got him fucking chasing her around like she's you. And what makes this shit even worse is that good old Kathleen Lynch was actually one of the people that would arrange for Nia Long, uh, um, Coach U Stroker's wife, Nia Long, the actress, his wife, to fly back and forth and travel with the team to go to different dates and different stuff like that and help her look for the house that she ended up buying and come over here about two weeks before the story broke. So this bitch was playing this shit all the way to the end. She never stopped being a fake friend, a fake bitch. All the way to the end, she played this shit out. Now we have it where Coach Stroker, he gets suspended for a season, and in my opinion, that's, there's no fucking way you could bring him back. You can't be fucking banging cheerleaders and massage therapists and the fucking lady at the concession stand. If you're banging, if you got the balls to fuck the vice president of finances for the Celtics, he's a vice fucking president of finances, you dumb bastard. That means he helps cut checks. If you got the balls to bang your boss's fucking wife, no pussy is safe in the fucking building. He will fuck the players, wise, everything. And nobody likes that. Nobody likes a nigga like that. Nobody, trust me, nobody likes a nigga like him. Because you're dapping that man up every day. I can see if he was the vice president of finances for the Chicago fucking Bulls. It wouldn't matter. We're the vice president of your fucking team, numb nuts. And now I want to talk to the ladies, right? I want to speak to the ladies. I just want to know some things, man. It's every woman that I know, and so many women in the world, that they want to have a, a rich and powerful man. But I don't think most of you women really understand what comes with that. You know, do you think that Coach Ustroka just started fucking around on Nia Long? Fuck no. Played in the NBA for all them fucking years. And he was a fucking assistant coach in San Antonio. Probably got some fucking Mexican kids in San Antonio. You feel what I'm saying? So he, he didn't just start this. A lot of women, you got to understand. Like, I see women, a lot of times, they want to chase the powerful a successful man. It's nothing wrong with chasing a powerful, successful man and wanting that, but you just gotta understand what comes with it. Okay? Infidelity comes with that shit. Powerful men 
get a lot of pussy thrown at them. Powerful men get a lot of ass thrown at them. And if they can't handle it, which 90% of them can't, then they're going to fucking cheat. And that's something you got to fucking live with. You know what I'm saying? As I've heard plenty of stories about STDs and the NBA and the NFL and the MLB and all that. I heard plenty of stories because these guys just run around throw their dick on a crap table night after night. And I'm not saying all of them, but God damn it, it's a lot of them. So you women got to understand when you chasing after these guys, a lot comes with that shit. I don't want to be repetitive, but this nigga you stroke was on some street shit. He was on some street nigga shit at work. He just was flat out fucking the boss's wife. Like, what did you expect to happen? Now, you fucked up your whole career. Nobody's going to trust you. Nobody's going to want you around their wife. None of these old, rich, white men are going to want you around. They, nope, nope, nope. You stroke a six foot six Nigerian nigga slinging dick. Get him out of here. You're done. You fucked your whole life up for a piece of white cat. And I'm, no, I'm not saying the white cat's not good. I hear the white cat's good. You know what I'm saying? But I, I mean, me personally, I like I like black women. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm no, no disrespect to any white women or anything like that. I just, I just love my Nubian queens. That's just that's what I do. I'm going to be keeping a close eye on this thing, man, because I believe that there's going to be more to trickle out, more to this story. I just wanted to keep my people informed. Anybody that tuned into my channel that subscribed to me, I just wanted to keep you informed. Now listen, this is a notorious friend. Y'all already know what to do. Like, subscribe, share, comment below. Comment below. I, I'm I'm really curious to hear from the ladies and what y'all think about you stroker, coach you stroker, and what do you guys think about workplace romances? Are you okay with the workplace romances? Is that ever a good thing? To me, it always ends bad. For me, in my experiences with it, it always ends bad. It never ends well. This is notorious for me, like I said before. Like, subscribe, and share. We out of here. You stroke up. You done fucked up the bad boy. And you done fucked up with Neil Long. Out of, oh, my God. Neil Long. Mm, mm, mm.